Microsoft Azure Virtual WAN or VWAN Architect brings together networking, security, and routing functionality to allow branches and endpoints to connect to virtual networks or VNets located in Azure. The Azure V1 uses the hub and spoke architecture where virtual WAN hubs within the V1 are connected in full mesh, creating the backbone for the global transit network from any to any connectivity. Branches and endpoints from the spokes are connected to the V1 hub for connectivity. Microsoft partners with third-party solution providers such as Fortinet to deploy virtual appliances or MVAs to a virtual one hub. With this integration, customers can deploy FortiGate MVAs to provide NGFW security across regions. The FortiGate MVAs running in the V1 hub can inspect all north, south, east, west, and internet bound traffic as well as an SD WAN gateway. In this video, we will demonstrate the deployment, configuration, and the testing of FortiGate MVAs configured as SD WAN hub in the Microsoft Azure V1 hub. To begin, we use Azure Marketplace to create V1 and V1 hub to deploy FortiGate MVAs into the V1 hub and use Azure Portal to configure virtual network or VNet peering to the connected resources VNets. Next, we use Forty Manager to authorize and configure FortiGate MVAs. Then, we use Forty Manager to configure FortiGate MVAs as SD1 hubs and branch FortiGates as SD1 spokes. Finally, we test the SD1 connectivity by using the Windows 10 clients at the branch location to access a protected resource in Azure. To deploy FortiGate in V1 Hub, first we need to create V1, search Virtual WAN in Azure Marketplace, and select Virtual WAN. Click Create. Complete the required information and click Review plus Create. Click Create. Once the V1 has been created, the next task is to create V1 Hub. On Azure Portal under Azure Services, Virtual WANs, go to the newly created Virtual WAN from creating the Azure Virtual WAN. On the left margin bar, go to Connectivity and click Hubs, New Hub. Complete the required information on each page and click Review plus Create to create the hub. Next task is to peer V1 Hub to a VNet that serves as a host for protective resources. After VNet is peered, Traffic can be forwarded to FortiGate MVA instances for inspection and vice versa. Navigate back to V1 on the left navigation bar, go to Connectivity, click Virtual Network Connections, Add Connection. Complete the required information on each page and click Create. Repeat those steps to connect other VNets. After creating V1, V1 Hub, and peering V1 to VNets, the environment is ready to deploy FortiGate MVAs in V1 Hub. On Azure Marketplace, search for FortiGate and select Azure Virtual WAN Secured by FortiNet FortiGate MVA Application. Under Plan, select FortiGate NGFW plus SD1 Hyper Deployment for Azure Virtual WAN and click Create. Complete the information and click Next. Make sure the region selected is the same as the region in the V1 Hub created in the earlier step. Make a note of FortiGate BGP ASN setting. The default is 64512. Complete the information and click Review plus Create. Check I agree to the terms and conditions above and click Create. After the deployment is complete, go to Azure Services and navigate back to V1 Hub. Click Network Virtual Appliance under Third Party Providers. Click Instance Info to view MVA instances. Next, Azure Routing needs to be enabled. Click Routing Intent and Routing Policies. Select the next hop for private traffic or internet bound traffic. Ensure that private traffic is set to the address space from the peer VNet from peering a VNet to a virtual one hub and click Save. Management of 40 gate MVAs is only allowed from 40 Manager. After MVAs are deployed, the next step is to authorize 40 gate MVAs on your 40 Manager. To authorize FortiGate MVAs on Forty Manager in the root ADOM, go to Device Manager, Device and Groups, and select the unauthorized device list. The FortiGate MVAs are displayed in the content pane. Select the FortiGate MVAs and click Authorize Device. Select ADOM, that is version 7.4, and click OK. The private address space of V1 Hub is needed to create a summary route from the private address range to the secondary interface of FortiGate MVAs 
connected route to establish BGP peering. The BGP peers are ready configured and ready to go online after the route is established. To confirm the private address space of V1 Hub on the Azure portal, navigate to Virtual WAN Hub. On the overview pane, note private address space. Next, retrieve the subnet information from FortiGate MVAs. From Forty Manager, connect to the CLI for one of the MVAs by using SSH. Go to Device Manager, Device and Groups, and select FortiGate MVA in the Tree menu. On the Dashboard Summary pane, go to the System Information widget and click Connect to CLI via SSH button to log in. In the CLI console, run the Get System Interface command and look at the result for port 2. Note that the administrator's IP address is 10.0.112.5 they have a slash 25 mask, which makes the network address 10.0.112.0. And the first IP, which Azure assigns to the virtual switch, is 10.0.112.1. On each MVA, static routing to the virtual hub routers through the virtual switch is required. While creating a static route, we also need a route to respond to the Azure load balance probes, which comes from the IP address of 168.63.129.16. Using the information discussed, configure the following static routes. Repeat the commands for the other FortiGate MVA in the device group. Supporting asymmetric traffic requires FortiGate Session Life Support Protocol, also known as FGSP, which is a Layer 3 session synchronization feature to be enabled. Further, we must allow rerouting of packets from one FortiGate to another in case of IPS or other D-packet inspection is required. In the CLI console, run the Get System Interface command and look at the results for port 2. Connect to the other MVA CLI. Using the command shown for Config System Standalone Cluster, and use port 2's IP address for the Set IP command. Next, configure the Config System HA using the command shown on the screen to complete the configuration. Repeat the commands on the other 40 gate MVA in the device group. Next, add 40 gate branch devices to device group. Follow the procedure found in 49 document library, 40 manager, administration guide, device manager, add devices. After the 40 gate MVAs for the V1 hub and 40 gate units for the branch locations are configured and managed by 40 manager, 40 manager is used to configure a new 41 region. 40 gate MVAs are the hub and the branch 40 gates are the spokes in the SD1 configuration. SD1 overlay templates in 40 Manager is used to configure the overlay network. To create an SD1 overlay template in 40 Manager, go to Device Manager, Provisioning Templates, SD1 Overlay Templates. Click Create New. Enter a name and description for the template and click OK. Set the region settings. Select Dual Hub, Primary and Primary. Expand events, modify the default IP address scheme for the loopback and overlay networks, BGP AS numbers, and to enable ADVPN as desired. Ensure that you use the same BGP AS number as when deploying 40 gate MVAs in V1 Hub. Click Next. Set both primary hubs, one for each MVA. Set device group's assignment to branches. Click Next. Set the network configuration for both primary hub and branch devices. Click Next. Enable Add Overlay Objects to SD1 Template. No configuration of the template is needed. In this demo, the SD1 template is named SD1 Branch. Enable Add Overlay Interface and Zones. Enable Add Health Checks Servers for each hub as Performance SLA. Click Next and Finish. Click Template Groups to verify templates are created. Click IPsec Tunnel and verify that the templates are created. Click BGP and verify the templates are created. Click CLI and verify the templates are created. Next, SD1 templates for branches devices will be edited. Click SD1. Double click the SD1 template name SD1 branch to open it for editing. Select SD1 Zone, 
move both interfaces to the same SD1 zone. Under the interface members, select Hub 1 and click Edit. Select both VPN interfaces and click OK. Next, create a rule for traffic from branch devices to Azure VNet. Under SD1 rules, click Create New. Select Require Firewall Addresses. Set the lowest cost SLA option and click OK and OK on the next page. To verify SD1 templates is added to the template group, click Template Groups and double click the branch template group. Ensure that the provision templates listed displays the SD1 templates created earlier. Next, assign metadata values to the branch devices. In 40 Manager, go to Device Manager, Device Groups, and expand 40 Manager 40 gates. In the counter pane, right click Branch 1 and select Add a Variable Mapping. Click Mapping Value Cell, type 1, and select the check mark to set the value. Set the other branches to the next sequence value, branch 2 to 2, branch 3 to 3, and so on. Next, create CLI templates for branch devices with DHCP gateway assignments. Go to Fortinet Document Library using the URL on the screen and copy the commands found in the document. In Forty Manager, go to Device Manager, Provisioning Templates, CLI. Click Create New, CLI Templates, Paste commands and click OK. Click on branch device to add the CLI template to the template group. Repeat for each branch device. Next, add BGP neighbors in Azure vWAN. In the Azure portal, go to the virtual one hub. In the left navigation, select BGP peers to view the ASN and IP numbers. In 40 Manager, click BGP. Double-click one of the hub templates to open it for editing. Under Neighbors, click Create New Neighbor. Set IP and Remote AES to the number obtained from Azure Portal for the V1 Hub. Set Interface to Port 2. Repeat the steps for the other hub. Next, select the installation targets for policy packages. Go to Policy and Objects. Policy Packages, click Edit. Select the branch group and MVA group and move to the right as targets and click OK. Click Install, Install Wizard. Select Install Devices only. Add required change notes in the common box and click Next. Select the required devices and click Next. Click Install Preview to review settings. Click Install. Click Finish. And SD1 configuration is complete. Finally, we will test the SD1 connectivity using the client behind the branch device on a Windows 10 client in the 172.16.50.0 slash 24 network. The client will use a browser to access GitHub, which is a protected resource in the 10.10.0.0 slash 16 network. Please note, the client has an IP address of 172.16.50.5. Using the browser, the client is able to reach the GitLab, which has the IP address of 10.10.0.4. The test is a success, and the Azure V1 SD1 is up and running. For more information, please visit 49 Document Library by using the URL or the QR code found on the screen. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.